it's about six in the morning and I'm inside my tent and you can just see a little bit of my face because I'm only using the light of the computer screen. In a moment I'll go outside and um, there'll be some more light. But um, yeah, I guess I'll just leave it black because it's too strange looking to see the partial face. So anyhow, Max and Elisa have stayed here two nights now and um, oh, there's a lot I could say. But mostly I felt motivated to open up the computer because I wanted to say that I think I have a plan now, somewhat of a plan for the winter months this year. I think my plan is to go to Morocco because Elisa was telling me that she was in Morocco and she told me that it's very cheap there and it's very nice there, the beaches are very nice and um, she said life is kind of hard, it sounds a little bit like India and Peru, Indonesia where there's so many desperate people, but she said she liked it a lot and Elisa's pretty cool, she'd be interesting to travel with for a while. Yesterday we started talking about uh, understanding and I told Max and Elisa that I offered them I was going to offer them this present or a gift of uh, my ideas on understanding and asking someone how they feel between how much they feel understood between 0 and 10 and this led into a very very long discussion and it became quite obvious that Elisa has a bigger need to feel understood than Max has been able to meet or satisfy and this hurts Elisa and she feels unimportant when it comes to this issue because Max kind of just says I can't understand it I, I understand her or it takes too much time or something and Elisa said something like that's because it's not important to him well what what she meant was is she feels unimportant to him and so well, I hope I hope them at least think about their feelings and think about studying the feelings. I told Max and Elisa yesterday that you could be very educated and not know anything about how to express your feelings in a productive way to get, help you get your needs met. Um, actually, there's much too much to talk, to talk about right now. Well, we <coughs> so I'll just kind of say what what we talked about. Um, let's see. I told them a little bit about emotional literacy, about expressing your feelings with direct feeling words. I talked a little bit about emotional honesty. I talked um, about something else, I think, but I can't remember now. Mm. Let's see. Okay, that's all. Mostly, I want to say that I think I have a plan, which is to go to Morocco. Also, it's really interesting. I like it here in this little village called Valcella. Val Val <laughs> Not sure how to pronounce it, but I like it. Yesterday, I guess we talked to the chief of the gypsies in this little community. And um, while we were standing outside the house, it has somewhat fallen down. Okay, something else I want to talk about is, um, and maybe this will be later edited and put into a different video, on how Romania is more free than America. But for example, last night we, well, one example is Max, when he wanted to, to wash up. No, I, for the first time I think I saw him naked was when he wanted uh, Elisa to wash his pants so he just took them off there in the backyard where anybody could, who was walking by could see him <laughs> he didn't have any underwear on so he was fully naked and then again when he wanted to wash up he was naked again and I almost said Max um, could you be a little bit like careful about not letting too many of the neighbors see you naked I'm not sure what they'll think I'm afraid they might think that we're really crazy or something but that would be illegal in the land of the free and somebody would have surely called the police on us by now also last night we um, made a little campfire in the yard and that would also be illegal at least where I grew up you couldn't have any open fires at all we used to when I was young we used to burn our trash in this big 50 gallon container or 50 gallon drum, drum. 
but um, then later they passed the city law that said no more open fires. I think it got to the point where you couldn't even burn the leaves anymore. <laughs> so one thing after another has been eliminated in the United States, and that's why it's, for me, a person who really likes to be able to decide for myself what's healthy and unhealthy and what's, uh, what's well, I don't even want to use the words good or bad, but basically just what's healthy and unhealthy both for me and for the community and the world. Um, it's nice to come here and be able to do so many things I couldn't do when I was young or if I lived in America. And also another topic is that yesterday I was thinking that I'll keep writing about America because it did really affect me. It really messed me up. And um, also it's messing up a lot of people. And also people all around the world are interested in what's happening in America. So, and I think a lot of people, well actually I know a lot of people have already found what I have to say about America interesting. So, so what I'm writing about and talking about can be helpful to the Americans or anybody who calls themselves an American or anybody who was born in the place called America or anybody who wants to understand Americans or anybody who wants to help Americans by help I mean for example like help get them out of America and help the young people get out of America for example help them start traveling seeing the world and uh, oh, by the way that reminds me that it's been really interesting in the last couple of weeks I've met a lot of people from or maybe not a lot but s several people from the former Eastern Germany what they used to say the DDR, the Deutsche Democratic Republic, or the GDR, the German Democratic Republic, um, who have been uh, interesting to talk to, or who, particularly who have been backpacking, camping, hitchhiking, etc., and also from the Czech Republic. Um, yeah, okay, that's the end of this video in the dark. Bye. Oh yes, and I will add that I want to say hello to Melissa again because Melissa is still watching my videos and still interested in all my world travels and interested in, in the people I meet. And I would really, really like to help get Melissa over to Europe and help her have the kinds of experiences I'm having and help open her eyes even more. And I know that in my own small or medium size or maybe even big way, I'm doing a lot for Melissa and people like her. So even though Melissa is the only one I'm really talking to regularly now, I'm sure that there are other teenagers in the United States but in particular who, uh, who could benefit from what I'm doing over here in Europe. So hi Melissa and bye Melissa. Actually, on the topic of Melissa, I've been thinking about something. I, I might start asking people, especially, well, people from different countries, to compare their answers to this question. I'll, I'll explain a little bit about the situation with Melissa and how she is 16 years old and she's not able to get a passport and she's not able to travel only because she's 16 years old. And I'll ask people, and I'll tell them that, for example, I'd like to meet her and uh, spend a little time traveling with her and ask them if they believe that Melissa should have the legal right to come to Europe and travel with me or if they think it's inappropriate or unhealthy or if they think that somehow I would be taking advantage of her or that it's inappropriate or something and just see what their answers are because I really believe that Melissa is quite capable of making intelligent or let's say intelligent and healthy decisions for herself at this point in her life and even before this point in her life. And I'm pretty sure that I'm going to find that people from Eastern Europe are going to say, yeah, Melissa should have the chance to meet me and she should be able to um, participate in couch surfing, for example. And people from England and probably America are going to say that no, she's too young. So this will be very interesting to conduct this little survey.